and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora dragons. This is this dragon list was one that I put together today of basically cards that I really want to play, especially want to play in the uh, matchup against the Go Hard Twisted Fate deck. We have a lot of you know good quality dragons, but we're not just playing all the ramp cards and then playing all the top end. We got some good mid range stuff in here as well, including Fiora. <clears throat> which Fiora is a card that you really want to be playing against a bunch of small units. Uh, and, you know, like the, the Go Hard deck plays a bunch of small units. And so I want a Fiora there. And I also want Chain Vest, right, to help protect against Go Hard and those small units. So we're going to be playing like two Chain Vest in here to be able to suit up the Fiora or suit up anything else, you know, like a Shivana or anything like that. We have all these fight spells. Um, you know, we got our nine fight spells that can help. Fiora uh, level up and win the game. We got Pale Cascades in here because Pale Cascades is just an amazing card. <clears throat> That's kind of what I'm doing. So I want to play cards that are great and give you a lot of card advantage and just keep replacing themselves. Like it could be Sharp Sight, which Sharp Sight, like giving that extra point of health may be better. Um, but I'm going to try Pale Cascade first, but that'll be something that we'll kind of keep our eye out on is would Sharp Sight be better than Pale Cascade? But we have Egghead Researcher creating random dragons for us. We have Enviolus Vox creating random dragons for us. We have Eclipse Dragon with Nightfall creating random dragons and Celestial Followers. So we can we can play a really long game with these cards, and we don't have to necessarily play like a really insult that costs 10 mana. You know, like we can have a little bit lower curve. We can stay alive against Aggro because of Radiant Guardian and Radiant Guardian with uh, the different striking and everything. And also Sol Solari Priestess going to do some invoking for us. That card usually gets some really good invoke cards, and that can kind of pair with the Eclipse Dragon for some um, extra invoke. So I'm excited to play this one. We're going to see how it goes. You know, this will be our first time trying it out, but we're going to be playing it over here on our Rank Up Sunday. I think this should be be a pretty good mid-range deck that can, you know, have like the aggressive dragon stuff going on, but it can also play a really late game against the control decks and uh, has nine good removal spells. Uh, so, you know, it's not just, you know, so you can get to remove champions like Ezreal and Twisted Fate that are problematic. Uh, but then you also have a lot of card advantage. Now, <clears throat> maybe maybe the other decks can go bigger. Like this this is going to be Lux and Aurelian Soul, so maybe they can go even bigger than us. You know, like I'm not playing like the, the top, top end of these decks. So I like, you know, Concerted Strike, going to be good against both champions. But I'm not sure if I want to wait until turn five before I do anything else. Uh, we'll, but Screeching Dragon is just also awesome, so I'll keep one Screech, Screeching Dragon. So maybe we'll just draw all of the top end, and that's it. <laughs> I think I should be playing Mountain Goat instead of Egghead Researcher. I wouldn't necessarily just like that. I mean, Mountain Goat's very good. Yeah, Lerat Protégé, Bright Steel Protector, other options. There's a lot of good options to play. Raise your weapon, Sunwind. I do not want to see single combat have these fights and kill my Shivana. I don't want that to happen. Okay, good. Alright, close to having Shivana level up. 11 out of 12. Just need one more. Let that happen. I'm gonna play in Viola's box. Alright, we'll get the 
Vox in play. Hmm. Yeah, that is enticing to play Shivana. But no, we'll just go like this. Create, try to create a dragon. Yeah. Let's go like this. Yeah, I thought about doing like the striking the Solari Priestess. Okay, got a hush out of their hand. It's not bad. I'll trade the Pale Cascade for the hush. Fine trade. <clears throat> it does mean I don't get to play another unit right now, but I get to save this three spell mana, so that is perfectly fine. And the Olus Vox is just awesome. Card's really underrated. We can do this! Dragon blood, Demacian heart. This should, the first strike should take down the barrier. The second strike should kill the Lux. Dang. Four Eclipse Dragons. We can play forever. So Eclipse Dragon would make another dragon cost two. So I could go like Eclipse Dragon and White Flame Protector. Or I can just go to attacks and hit him for 11. I guess I do that. We have to start trying to make some of these dragons cost less so we can get them out of our hand. Basically, Aurelian Soul is going to be what could save my opponent. I'm not sure it necessarily will, but that's what could. I think we still win through Judgment. Like, basically, do we win through Judgment and a single combat if we attack? And I, I think the answer is yes. Why did I create a, Oh, do I have too many cards in hand? Oh, I don't get the Strafing Strike? Oh, I wanted that Strafing Strike. You can also just not have Judgment. That would be cool. I need that strafing strike. I didn't count the cards in hand. Um, so the single combat happens afterwards. Yeah, I, I need that strafing strike. I guess I just let this all happen. I don't think it's really worth me using my single combats to do basically nothing. Double single combat, the Aurelian Soul doesn't kill it, because the first the first one just eats the spell shield, and then the second one would do seven damage to it, so the Aurelian Soul would still stay alive. But then the Aurelian Soul would do the concerted strike first, and so like it wouldn't it wouldn't change anything. We need we needed three. We needed two single combats and the strafing strike. So the first single combat would break up that thing, and then single combat almost kill the Aurelian, and then 
strafing and kill it. Okay, so they wanted to do that and pass. Not exactly sure how I lose this game. So a Celestial with Elusive, then I have two single combats. We can maybe find an Obliterate as well. We have some single combats and Obliterates. Okay, Kaba. Thanks for the donation deck there. The light of my star warms the heavens. I long for a worthy They can do four to me and put me down to six. Meteor shower. Four and one. This will be quick. So they can have judgment, but then I single combat. All right, I'll do. And I'd have to single combat with the 7-7 if they win Judgment, so that um, that was a pretty awesome game. So yeah, just one one game in. Uh, I'm liking this build. Okay, I have no dragon. Leona, Diana, Targon. So this is going to be all Invoke stuff. I don't think I need the Chain Vest against all Invoke stuff. Um, I think I'll keep the Strafing Strike, though. But I could see Mulliganing it. Like, we have nine... Uh, fight spells. I could see mulliganing it, but we'll just keep it. Alright, cool. That'll do. I'll pass. I'll keep, like, the, the three spell mana for strafing strike, or if they play something that I want to challenge, we can challenge. But, yeah, we'll just keep the three. Spell mana, that's fine. I can play the Dragon Guard Lieutenant later with a, something else. I can double spell with it fairly easily. The dawn has arrived. Sunlight lies. Diana plus Pale Cascade is something we have to be worried about. So that's where I use the Strafing Strike, I suppose. And so that's what I was thinking about whenever like, I was going to play Screech Screeching Dragon or not. And do we have... Let's see, if I fight with Screeching Dragon here, then it takes one damage? No, it takes two, it goes to three health. Oh no, it does go to four health. Okay, never mind. Yeah, four, yeah, because then it's the second one is the Fury. So they have another Pale Cascade, just trades these. So that was like worst case scenario, and that still wasn't that bad. That got rid of that was another Diana that we just got rid of right there. A little time, I'll have a break. Warriors of the Raharak, our time is now. We'll follow you to the edge of daybreak. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. For the honor, try me. Play th 
three Daybreak cards so far. I'm gonna kill this Robin. There we go. Second kill for Fiora. So we can't get any more Daybreaks this turn. Could single combat that, kill the 3 2. Or I could just put 4 damage on Leona. No, 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 no. Let that happen. I'm glad for your help. There's much to learn in the future. You seem like you've got a lot to learn. Put it ten. Believe or burn. <clears throat> so future Fioras will be four fours that are leveled up, but they'll still need to kill four things. Get him, Furious Scout Dragon. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape. Oh, right. Glorious light rains down. So I probably want to play single combat next turn first before. Eclipse Dragon, right? Like that's what I want to do. That bunch of invoke going back and forth. So maybe I should have my lieutenant challenge like a priestess, but they are running out of room. Interesting. You want to allow me to go to my turn? I will go to my turn. Daylight everlasting. So Lari controls all that her womb touches. Bad Robin. So they may be out of Pale Cascades, but you know they could have like Diana's Pale Cascade. Still. I think there's a very good chance they have more Leona, like another Leona in hand. I could go Chain Vest on this Dragon Guard Lieutenant to kill, you know, like a Solari Soldier and still keep it alive. I don't know if that's that necessary. Just trade with this, I guess. I saw like my 4-4 that's protecting me. Maybe that's too greedy. I should just be going right to attacks first. We're like a mid-range. We're like a mid-range dragon deck that they can grind pretty good um, against like like decks that are just like all invoke. They can go over over the top of us. So I'm not that confident in winning this game, even though it looks like our board is awesome. 
is your weapon, Sunwing? Defiance is our way. No mercy for heretics. Oh, that's right, because Shivana doesn't have fury. Does not like yeah, so Shivana doesn't start with fury. We don't actually create a dragon within the Aeolus box. At least not yet. So basically how we how we lose this is them invoking the really big spell shield. Um Elusives, right? Like that's that's how we lose this game. Stars like jewels on the cloak of night. And I'm not playing. You know, I'm playing Pill Cascade instead of Sharp Sight. Or Sharp Sight could protect against that. Daylight star will rule the skies. As though day and night are not equal. <laughs> I I thought that my attack was yeah, I didn't play the, the spell shield dragon for attacking because I was thinking that my attack was pretty good at the time, and that I didn't to need it. Me with but they could not break me. Not saying that I was correct. I I was, you know, again, I was worried about you know, some kind of bigger Something bigger that you know would have made playing that worse, but no more lies. I could have been wrong. I will be heard. So Shivana will be leveled up now. I'm gonna play a new Shivana that's leveled up. Ouch. And how do they have so many falling comments? Like, Ari Priestess got that one. Mountain Scryer got that thing. Okay, so even though they cast that with Daybreak, they didn't draw another card. Oh, I bet I bet that was I bet that Zenith Blade was created by the 5-5 five five by Robin. What a specimen. Dragon fire. Alright, so I can uh, I can play Chain Vest and then one combination of Pale Cascade and Strafing Strike. You were misguided. The guilty were bad. Okay, so we're this is the wrong path. not going to be able to kill them. None of these have Overwhelm. Do you feel like I need to Strafing Strike the Diana? I wish I would have killed something with the Enviolus box in play and gotten another dragon. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess Chain yeah, Chain Vest would have saved that Screeching Dragon, wouldn't have. Yeah, I guess it would have. So yeah, I guess I should have used Chain Vest on that Screeching Dragon. It would have saved him. Alright, they're just invoking forever. 
So just targets that. Aha! Save chain vest so we can easily turn on nightfall. Perfect planning. Hey J Man! Yeah, glad to glad to have you live over here. Welcome to the stream. Sunlight light. I guess I'm gonna throw this on this thing. Cool, trickster. The moon approaches her zenith. May her silver light enshroud us. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. <laughs> yeah, I said that at the beginning. This was gonna be a long game, and I uh, have not disappointed. Okay. So we're not going to be able to turn on Nightfall for this Pale Cascade if we go right to attacks. Oh yeah, we have... No, yeah, because yeah, Strafing Strike and Single Combat, neither of them really help. Alright, so you can attack there. Um, and then I guess, doesn't really matter. You, you, you. You, you. Sure. I'll be surprised if they can... If they can stabilize here now. Like, I think I think that this destroyer should kill them. I guess Hush. No Hush is their card that they could have. I know your true heart. Why well, attack with the 1-1? One, one? I don't know. Just take, take a blocker up. My that 1-1 one, one just... Just clogging up space anyway. Defiance is our way. Quickly. Yeah, I kind of need the space here with only being able to have six things in play. Must we fight? Okay, I guess that's that's also something they could have to stay alive. Fear not death. Wait, do I even? I, yeah, I guess I. <clears throat> Just let this happen. If they have big elusive, at least I do have elusive blocker. They have two cards. We know that one costs seven plus mana. The strafing strike is is fleeting, so I kind of have to play it. So I guess I just play it and kill Leona. I guess. Nah, Leona doesn't matter. Let's just kill this mountain scryer. I would have preferred to be able to have that take out like the spell shield of like something big and scary. Yeah, if they blocked the Mountain Scryer with the Egghead Researcher, I would have killed the Mountain Scryer with the Pill Cascade. I think. Alright, so we know they have one Invoke card that costs 7 plus mana here. An Invoke card that costs 4 to 6 mana there. Let's go. Daylight star will rule the skies. Ugh. Okay. You can attack. I guess I have the overwhelm first before they can heal their nexus with this other stuff. think they can stay alive. 
There we go, GG's. They cannot, we are two and O. Oh. Two and O, oh, that's it. <laughs> but so far so good. Hey, we played it. We played at least three Eclipse Dragons that, that game. I think three, maybe four. But at least three. Um, I could see us getting run over by aggro. Ooh, I like the Radiant Guardian. We do have some two and three drops. They are in the deck. Whether or not we draw them is another question. You know, that's a different question. I was definitely pretty pretty impressed with how our deck was able to beat. Obviously, this isn't good, not having anything that costs. You know, I Mulligan just kept Shivana in single combat, wanted something cheaper, and obviously we didn't have anything cheaper, so that's not good. Uh, but anyway, I was definitely impressed with how our ability was able to, sorry, how our deck was able to defeat the. Um, I'll find vengeance on my own. Yeah, I guess you will, won't you? We're able to defeat a, an Aurelian Soul deck and another Invoke deck. The two real late game decks we were able to defeat. That was impressive. Nah. That's too bad. I think their hand was pretty good. I don't know about y'all, but I think their I think their hand was pretty good. That was a nice sharp sight. See, it's still winnable depending on what else they have. I think I have to trade this, which isn't ideal. Let's see, what is what's Callista gonna put into play? It's gonna just put a one one into play whenever it attacks. And then next turn I'll have Concerted Strike. I'm thinking about just passing. And, you know, kind of using that as stabilizing as they don't get to play anything else. Because if I try if I try the attack and they have like another sharp sight, we in trouble. Dragon Blood, Demacian Heart. So I think this is us taking six. Yeah, yeah, they put a one-one in place. This is us taking six. Good. Pretty good. We could, I mean, it's still possible we win this. <clears throat> Show them what we're made of. They're not making it easy. Created from Swift Wing Lancer. Oh, fresh soil. I guess I need to play Radiant Guardian last time. Yeah, yeah, so I can. 
I can single combat kill the Scythria. Um, but... This looks pretty bad. Depending, you know, like, if they have another thing. Like, because it... Like, if they have Callista... Oh, gosh, they have Sharp Sight. So that means they challenge, challenge. That's just game over. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have killed the Scythria. Maybe I should have just been going after the Screeching Dragon. That would have been safer. Because the Scythria, I could just block with the 1-1 anyway. Yeah, so I, I didn't play around the Sharp Sight very well. I should have just tried to kill the Screeching Dragon. Or, or, yeah, maybe I should have used Concerted Strike. Question is, do you think Herald of Dragons is just bait? Not at all. Herald of Dragons is very good. Oh, we have to face this matchup again? Alright, let's buckle down, get ready for a 20-minute game. See if we can outlast them again. The problem with playing this first is like if they just spend their six mana on remembrance. My faith protects me. Okay, or they just play that card, so I could have got an attack for three him, but now I don't. We wear red to honor the fallen. I'm very happy about that. That's another good good use of Fiora in here is it takes it takes that kind of hit so that, you know, maybe Screeching Dragon and Viola's Fox doesn't. Very happy about that Fiora trade. Behold the sun's holy light. Not a great hush trade. Feel the sun's glory. So they want to display sharp sight. Have sharp sight, right? No other reason to make that attack. So we know that one of these five cards is sharp sight. We're not sure which one, but one of them is. I don't think it'd be Pell Cascade because they they wouldn't have the Nightfall in enabled. So I don't know if they'd go because if it was Pell Cascade, they'd probably just play the Solari Priestess first and then attack Pell Cascade. It was. Star shaping? Question mark? That was the plan? I don't get to draw a card with Pale Cascade, but I'll be drawing a card with Screeching Dragon. Drawing a dragon. Can either have them both be five sixes or turn the Involius Fox into a six seven. Um, I think I want them both five sixes. I think I want my challenge dragon to be a five six as well. Concerted Strike's a really valuable card against a really soul 
So I don't love having it to use a Concerted Strike right there. And also just a, val a valuable card against Infinite Mind Splitter as well. And I'm thinking about getting really greedy and just going Concerted Strike on the Eclipse Dragon. And then single combat the 1-2. And then I attack for 13, which isn't still isn't enough to kill them. It's absolutely stellar. Maybe I don't do that. Come back later. Okay, so they're playing Aurelian Soul. That would leave them with four mana. Seven mana for those. Leave me with five. Hello, Room Terror. Let's rock. Now uh, go away. I want to rock. Let's hope they don't have a single combat. Or, you know, anything, I guess. Anything at all. As I, as I talked about at the beginning, like, the, the decks, like, Invoke does go bigger than me, and that is something. And so that could potentially be a problem. have killed Aurelian Soul. We have a couple of Eclipse Dragons. I hope our fifth game is not is not an invoke Aurelian Soul deck. Ask me about dragons, I just may have an answer. Games are not easy to play. Cards cost seven. No spells, so I'm at the mercy of this working or not. Hopefully we find something. Yeah, I, I want Nightfall with the Eclipse Dragon. All unbelievers I'm not sure if I'll be able to you know, be able to have that. Well, that's a good draw. Don't know exactly what I'm doing with that. Like the plus two, plus two from the Scourge is pretty problematic. They can have their protege kill my four, four dragon. that before they get the plus two plus two everywhere.
They both they both heal. They both they both strike. Radiant we did get the heal with the Radiant Guardian. But I did the the White Flame Protector first, so it got the Fury. I will end this here. We did heal. We didn't heal? Why? I thought Concerted Strike... I thought they always both strike. They must have changed Concerted Strike then. They must have changed Concerted Strike because it should be healing. Scourge means we're all in on the Scourge. See, I thought it... I, I didn't think it worked like that for, like, Garen level up. Like, I thought you still, like, could kill with the first thing and Garen would still level up with the second thing. I thought I've done that plenty of times before. Yeah, and like River Shaper works like that. So, okay, so it doesn't work with Lifesteal, but it works with like River Shaper and other things like that. The strike happens, but not the damage. So it works with, with Garen and River Shaper, but it doesn't work with Lifesteal. Weird. Yeah, it's weird. You are toast. Hardly fair. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Daylight everlasting. So land uh. control all that her want touches. So it counts as a strike, but damage isn't dealt. Man, what a great card for Robin to create. That was good. Uh, Robin is troublesome. Hmm. So I think they got me. I, I, sh I made some, some plays that shouldn't have made it in here and yeah like the, the last few turns i played play those last i don't know five six seven eight turns um pretty poorly but i learned something and learning's always good learning i didn't know that about the concerted strike uh we started today what rank are we we started today around 250 or so we're above that now somewhere Okay, so this this matchup is kind of why I chose a lot of the cards that I did choose. So it'll be interesting to see how we do in this matchup. That was that was kind of me just getting tired of you know, three three of our four games were like those kind of like really long invoke games. You know, we played for an hour like an hour and ten minutes in those four games, and I was kind of. I was, I was, I was pretty tired. I did not play my best there those last five, six turns. I made some poor attacks, blocks, things like that, so. Let's try to clean it up with this. This should be another, probably another long game. Grass the Undying is pretty good. I haven't seen too much Grass the Undying in that attack. That's a good card. That one got me. You'll fight or you'll swim. Suffer my fury. So this is reduces the health by two they are nothing. to get five out of 12 on Shivana and we kill the Powder Keg or kill the 3-1. Okay, never mind, they're just gonna take it. Like a 
Yeah, this is a pretty good archetype. I think it does have its holes, and I think that um, people haven't really designed decks to defeat it too much yet, and that's that's kind of what I was going with with this deck, with the um, What's the fun you know size of the units time? that we're playing and everything in here. Should know to stay out of the way. I smell fear. It's a good attack. It's basically, do I want to play Involius Vox or Radiant Guardian next turn by blocking? Look lively, soldier. Let's do this and level up Shivana like this. Okay, makes sense. By blocking, we're playing Invialis Vox. They have 10 cards. They have twice as many cards in hand as I do. Um, I probably like Gangplank Twisted Fate more, and honestly, I probably like... I'm honestly not... I think that actually probably maybe going bigger may be a better thing for this deck to do. Good Vengeance. I was like Gangplank, t Twisted Fate, you know, not playing Cool Sharks and a lot of like the small stuff and and just going bigger, having Withering Whale, stuff like that. I think that's how you win mirror matches. You know, just Powder Keg control. I think that's the best way to win the mirror. Powder Keg, Withering Whale wrecks the mirror pretty well. Alright, going blue. Soak it in. still have 10 cards. So yeah, they're just playing that to get it out of hand and could use the chain vest. I will hold off on that. Yeah, we've, we've played Eclipse Dragon on Daybreak a couple of times here and, and honestly we probably are going to be doing that this turn just to be able to help unload hand, especially if we're going to be um, using these dragons with fury to get more dragons that we may need to just be able to unload our hand a little faster, which would be Eclipse Dragon on Daybreak. We'll kind of see what's up. Because, like, the Concerted Strikes are going to make dragons for me, too. Do you gotta think about ruination though. Like, I don't know if they're just like playing slow, trying to wait for like a good ruination. It's a possibility. I'm always up for a round or two. Oh. Eyes open. I don't want to concerted strike on their turn because I've already had something with fury kill somebody. Yeah, they usually have one. Most people play one ruination. beyond. That is an annoying glimpse beyond. So 
These dragons are Nightfall now, but they have 10 cards in hand. Even more. That should draw me a dragon. Get another dragon. Now we're talking. Cadrogen. Now we're talking. It def you know, it feels like ruination. Like that's what they want to set up. I could, okay, maybe I should just play Cadrogen right there. As I say, I could probably play Cadrogen and then they go Ruination. And we'd be fine. We'd just rebuild on their turn. I know what lurks in the shadows. We're a little ways away from Go Hard. This is difficult because I have like a better board than they do anyway. But I already have I already have like tons of cards. Alright, that'll be make it more difficult for the Gohards to, to do their thing. That was from Warden's Prey. That's pretty good. Love this attack for them. If you are something to do before the dragons and it's good at eating removal, we've hit, we've had that happen quite a bit of like Fiora eat like sunburst and things like that. It's also just good against, it's good in this matchup against this deck that plays all these small little things that's good for Fiora. Um, and you know, so that's why I'm playing like chain vest, a couple chain vests to go along with the Fiora. It's just a, it's a really good three mana card. That puts me to six. Gives me the opportunity to play Radiant Guardian. I fight for the fallen. Strike for justice. All right. Dang. Another Cadrogen? Cadrogrin?
Okay. You will be scoured from this land. I want to attack before a potential <clears throat> ruination. Still want to try to be healing the Nexus with this. Something the matter. Hopefully they don't have a way to kill this 3-1. And they've done a yeah, they've done a great job killing their own 3-1s. They definitely win this now that. Maybe we find another one of our three Radiant Guardians. Cool. So I need, like, Egghead Researcher to die. Hey, nickname unfound! Get in the sub. Awesome. Thank you, Boo. So whatever I play, I want to be able to play Radiant Guardian after if there is a Ruination. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play either Shivana or Fiora. Always two steps ahead. Because it's Fiora. Stow the rations, the and Cabo getting the gifted sub. Thank you, Boot. Awesome. It's always good with Cabo being Let them eat, <clears throat> being subbed to the channel. Love it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Try me. I'll follow where I can. Wait a minute. I guess I should challenge the Yeti Yearling instead of the Dreadway Deckhand, because I want them to draw one mana 5-5s. Five because obviously, like, one mana 5-5s five aren't defeating us. So I, I shouldn't have challenged the Dreadway Deckhand, I should have challenged the Yeti Yearling. Gonna be number two. Uh, basically, I, I was, yeah, I think Siobhan is better than Fiora, but I'm just basically thinking that like if they they go Ruination, you know, like I wanted to play Fiora, they Ruination, and, and I have Shivana for afterwards. That's my thinking. This is the longest five games <laughs> I have played in a very very long time. Right over an hour and a half now. I maybe need to include a little overwhelm in here. Just a little overwhelm. I was forged in dragon fire. Two cards left. Protect us, Lord. I'm down to one. Okay. So they're at six. All I need for them to do is just to draw any unit. So any singular unit. And they die. Come there we go. Closer. I don't. <laughs> Victory for Whoops. Jarvin. Three, two.
They played around everything that I had perfectly. They played that incredibly well. Um, but, you know, we just, just overwhelmed them. And and uh, that's, that's like, the strength of this deck. That's, like, Enviolus Vox is really underrated. We got to create a good amount of dragons that Enviolus Vox throughout those games. Egghead Researcher, of course, creating stuff. And then Eclipse Dragon. And, you know, like, both the Vox and the Egghead Researcher can create Ecl Eclipse Dragons that then create even more stuff for you. And so we just had... You know, we just had so many cards all the time. Um, it's pretty awesome. So you can play a super late game. So like, we're we're a late game deck that's not just, you know, we're we're basically a late game deck that's not just like ramp and Aurelian Soul where we don't have anything to do early. We don't have tons of stuff to do early, but you know, at least we have six twos. We have a great three drop with Fiora. And even if like. If we don't have like these two drops, like just saving up a little bit of spell mana for these, and then having the great two drop with Fiora, or great three drop with Fiora, and then having you know strafing strike and single combat and that kind of stuff available, um, you know, because our curve's not like ridiculous, you know, like yeah, we're playing three sevens, two six, six fives, but then the you know both the, both of these five drops are really good at at uh, allowing you to stabilize. Yeah, good games, auto filled. Yeah, that was so close. That was those are great games there. You played really really well. You played, played around all my stuff really well. Uh, so yeah, so I like this deck quite a bit. I mean, we did go 3-2. We did play... You know, we played against three Invoke decks, and I think that could be a problem. We went 2-1, and one, and honestly, our one loss, maybe I could have done better. I played... I made... Uh, I was getting tired there, and I, I made some pretty bad decisions in the one loss there. And then... Um, for the for the invoke ones. Then we did get ran over by an aggro deck, but again, that one, that one again, we... We uh, actually, like, their hand was absolutely incredible with the Lucian, Callista. It was just completely ideal. And we did even stabilize, and I made one wrong decision with a single combat. But we could have, that could have definitely been a win. So this, we, we went three and two, but um, a couple of, couple of different decisions with what I was doing. Maybe this could have been a 5-0. Our deck felt really powerful. And so if you want, if you want, like, a really powerful Dragon's deck, um, it's not easy to play. You're going to have lots of decisions to make all the time. Uh, sometimes you won't make the correct ones, like I did it in two of the games. Um, but when you do, uh, it looked it looked good. This deck felt very good. All right, but anyway, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd love to see that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Fiora Dragons, and I'll see you for the next video.